there is a lot of negativity currently around Diablo 4, and that stems from the recent abomination of the Season 5 PTR. There's a lot of hate going around, a lot of bad D4 bad talk and all that kind of stuff. But in today's video, I want to highlight the one thing consistently that Diablo 4 has been good at. They deliver this day in, day out, and I have to say, it's been there since the start and launch of Diablo 4. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you what I think is the one thing Diablo 4 continues to deliver in spade. But before we get into that, a lot of you watch my content yet do not subscribe. And if you can find it in your heart to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. We have a lot of things that we wanna do. And at the end of the day, if you subscribe, you're supporting my content and therefore getting it out to more faces and ears. And at the end of the day, the reason, one of the reasons why I created this channel was to get in front as many people as possible. So if you can find it in your hearts to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It would help support my content. We put a lot of work into this channel, so I would appreciate your support. Now let's get back to why Diablo 4 is hitting the mark on this one specific topic. Now, I have to say, I started thinking about this when I saw this post on Reddit. I'm going through my daily Reddit consumption and I saw this question posed by this individual. What is the reason people play this game for hundreds of hours? And he didn't want to turn it into a complaint post, but he basically said he enjoyed Diablo 4 for about 20 hours and then there is really no more reason to play the game. Now, a lot of people have this opinion. <laughs> Heck, I lasted four hours in the season five PTR. I lasted to level 20 in season three. So I know firsthand what this gentleman is talking about, but there are a lot of people in the player base that play Diablo four for a very long time. And to some of us, it's confusing to why people choose to continue to play Diablo 4 when it looks like the perception of the game looks like D4 is bad. And we've gone through these ebbs and flows throughout the seasons, and I've done a million videos on that ebbs and flows of Diablo 4. And in a recent video, I said it's the D4 dance. They take one step forward, and then they take two steps back. And the point of the video was, I don't understand why the devs of Diablo 4 don't continue to build the momentum. Now, this gentleman asked the question, how come you guys play so much? I couldn't even get to 20 hours kind of thing. And if you scroll through the responses here, there are a lot of people saying that you, 20 hours, you're just scratching the surface. You know, the game doesn't start till level 100, the real grind. You know, some people got into the, the rationale behind the whole game and, and, you know, the whole point is grinding and maxing your character, tempering, masterworking, the whole the whole nine yards, right? But a lot of the comments in here, and there's not too many, but two or three of the comments here basically say they enjoy it because, here it is right here, it's a great game for me to just shut off my mind. And while I was reading this comment, I'm like, Jesus, this is hits the nail right on the head. And this is something that Diablo 4 does in spades. This game is built in a way that you can mindlessly play it. And it's for, and I'm gonna use the stereotype, it's for that working dad, comes home after a long days of work, pops a pop open, I'll use pop, and just wants to spend an hour or two hours of mindless activity and play a game that, let's face it, Diablo 4's combat system aesthetically so pleasing, it's really nice to play. So it fits like a glue love for that working dad, that working mom that comes home, just wants to do some mindless activity. And it got me thinking, God damn it, this game delivers that in spades and has always delivered it in spades. And I wanted to highlight that in this video. And I also want to walk a lot of you away from the cliff of the mountain with all this negativity that's going around right now with Diablo 4. 
I see it in my video comments. I get it in my live streams, people coming in and, and telling me how everything is so horrible and why didn't they do this and why did they do that? Guys, walk away from the ledge, come over here to Sammy, come to the safe spot and don't worry. This is just the D4 dance, just to take from what I said in a previous video. Don't worry, there's gonna be a step forward this is what's happening. This is just a D4 dance. So for those of you that are want and expect more of just mindless activity, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, like I said previously in another video, season six is hopefully going to deliver that in spades. So for the players that just want mindless activity, well, that's already in the game, has been in the game, and will always be in the game. So you're taken care of. But for those of us that want more, more meat on the bone, strategic thinking, grinding, purpose, fun, all those things, hopefully season six will bring that forward to us. And then both camps will be happy when October 8th hits and the Vessel of Hatred drop. So everybody walk away from the ledge, come over to Sammy and just breathe there's a lot of other arpgs right now there's a lot of other games outside of the arpg genre that you could play in the meantime you don't need to play every single season if the season doesn't suit you you don't like the mechanics for example right now all we know in season five is it's infernal hordes is the new mechanic and that has its issues but we would assume diablo 4 devs are currently reviewing the ptr feedback since the ptr is over and who knows in the upcoming weeks prior to august 6th i believe when season five drops who knows we're going to get more information we're going to potentially have changes coming and maybe it will it will appeal to you. But just walk away from the ledge, everybody. Whether you like just mindless activity, then it's there already. And if you want more, well, it may come in season five. If it doesn't, hopefully it comes in season six. My point is this is a very delicate issue to balance. And I suspect and really hope that the Diablo 4 dev team are doing their best to make sure they appeal to both sides of the fence. So step back, <laughs> take it easy, guys. And really, the D4 bad stuff is really getting old. And don't get me wrong, you're entitled to your opinion and you can say whatever you want. And of course, I've had my fair share of, you know, saying this is bad, this is bad, that is bad. But it's kind of getting old. Either play the game, don't play the game. It's your choice. There's a lot of choices out there. So do what you want to do, but don't just say it for the sake of saying it. Uh, you know what? Be a leader, not a follower. Just because everyone else is saying it doesn't mean you have to say it. Uh, however, don't get me wrong. You are allowed to critique whatever you want to critique. All I'm saying is if you want to do mindless activity, this game is for you in spades. That's the point of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know how did, if you participated in the Season 5 PTR, what feedback did you give? What are you looking for? What are the changes that you want to see implemented for Season 5? And I also want to hear from the people that are sitting out. Why are you sitting out? What are you doing? I got to be honest with you. I am waiting. We are going to get another live stream about Season 5. It's going to happen after the July 18th new class reveal. It's going to happen sometime between the 18th of July and August 6th. That's going to happen. We're going to get a season five live stream. I would imagine they're going to talk about the PTR feedback and they're going to talk about what they're doing and potentially the name of season five because we don't know the name of it. We know the theme uh, and potentially stuff that they haven't shared with us that's going to be in season five so it's going to be an exciting live stream can't wait to uh, see what they have to say so i want to hear from everybody get in those comments and uh, let's have that discussion and by the way come and check me live on twitch every evening 7 7 30 eastern standard time i live stream on twitch channel name is sammy caps come over and say hello come over and debate me on whatever you want to talk about i'd love to have you Come over and say hello. We're a cool, chill community. Come over. We'd love to say hello to you. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.
and we'll see you next time. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.